And Celeste, do you have a few questions for Snoopy? I do. This is a very exciting day, huh, Snoopy? Yeah. How, do you, how do you feel about being put on a, a California license plate? Very exciting. Very, very exciting. I really want to thank you all for joining us here at the California Museum, which is the perfect place to launch our new program to support California's museums and cultural institutions. I want to particularly thank a very famous Californian, Snoopy, for being here to help us spread the word about the new license plate that will bear the image that you see here, uh, which will generate funds for this very important program. You know, I'm from San Diego, and that's a big part of the reason that I was so pleased to be able to carry the legislation last year to make the Snoopy plate a reality. There are many opportunities to enjoy art and culture in San Diego. And it was my really great fortune while I was on the San Diego City Council to represent one of our most cultural centers in the city, and that's Balboa Park. The park is home to 17 museums, several IMAX theaters, uh, and of course our world famous San Diego Zoo. And there's so much for San Diegans and visitors alike to enjoy about Balboa Park. And that's just an example of why uh, what we're doing today is so important. You know, it's not unusual, whether in the state capitol, here at the California Museum, or back home in San Diego to see groups of school children on a field trip enjoying the exhibits. And for many children, and I know this from my days on the city council, this is the first introduction to a subject, whether it be California history or America's Air and Space Program. It's often in a museum that a child expands his or her view of the limits of their world and decides to become an artist a scientist, or perhaps even a state elected official. It's the power of arts and cultural institutions, not just for children, but for all of us, that made it so important for me to work to pass with you AB 482. This bill will enable the California Cultural and Historic Endowment to operate in the most cost-effective way and to ensure that the endowment is able to continue to help preserve California's treasures with the proceeds from the Snoopy Plate. This program has done a stellar job of protecting the resources that help us understand ourselves as Californians. And I certainly want to express my thanks to the board and the staff for that. I want to thank the Department of Natural Resources, the endowment's new home, and of course the DMV, which will manage the Snoopy Plate program for your commitment, your real strong commitment to making sure that we have that support for our uh, cultural institutions. The Snoopy Plate is an idea that's taken a while to come uh, to fruition. And for that reason, I really want to thank former state senator uh, and my assembly colleague, Wes Chesbro. He first carried legislation to create the Snoopy Plate. Circumstances at that time prevented his bill from becoming law back in 2004, and the idea was put on hold. So I'm really grateful that he started this process and to have been the legislator who was able to take the idea over the finish line. Finally, I want to thank the family of Peanuts creator Charles Schultz, and in particular his widow, Ms. Schultz, who offered us Snoopy's likeness for this purpose. You know, Snoopy is a part of our cultural heritage, and I can't think of a better ambassador for this program. After you've heard from the other guests here this morning, I'm going to take the opportunity because I'm so excited to sign up for my own Snoopy plate. And if enough of us do this, then the DMV will start producing that plate and the program will be in place. So I look forward to seeing Snoopy doing his signature twirling feet dance on the license plates all over the state. Not only will it be sure to brighten any road trip, but it will be a reminder to each of us that we must preserve our past in order to ensure our future.